What if I told you that there's a trading strategy with more than a 90% win rate? Seems almost impossible to lose money, right? Well, don't be fooled by just this one statistic. In 2018, there was a hedge fund called LJM Partners that traded a strategy like this and similar strategies like this, and they lost 80% of their capital. We're talking about hundreds of crores of a loss. In this video, we're gonna see what went wrong with their strategy. We're gonna see a version of that strategy and how it performs in the Indian markets when simulated on our strategy builder and Algotest simulator. But if you're new to our channel, we post trading content every single week. So you definitely wanna subscribe to us. All right, enough talk, let's get straight into the video. All right, let's first discuss what this hedge fund did, the strategy they traded, and how it resulted in a huge loss for them. So I'm on the Algotest landing page at the moment, and I'm gonna click on go to dashboard. In the nav bar, there's a section that says strategy builder, and we're gonna click on that. Okay, so I'm gonna select the nifty index, and I'm gonna take the monthly expiry. So it's currently September, and I'm gonna take the 26th of September. So the strategy is simple. We're gonna buy one lot of a 30 Delta strangle. So a 30 Delta call and a 30 Delta put. And then we're gonna sell 10 lots each of a call and a put, which will have a Delta of five. So we're gonna sell 10 lots of a five Delta call and 10 lots of a five Delta put. So let's do that right now. We can see on the call side, the 30 delta is roughly here, so 31 delta, but I will just consider it 30. And on the put side, similarly, you have 31 over here. Now we're gonna sell legs. So this is what the payoff looks like after buying. Now scrolling up, so the five delta put is over here. So we're gonna sell that and change it to 10 lots. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on the call side, scrolling down. There you go, the five delta sell that and change that to 10 lots. This is the resulting payoff. Now you can see in the statistics, the POP or probability of profit here is 91.8%, which as we discussed at the start of the video, seems pretty enticing, right? But don't be fooled. Like I said, don't be fooled by this POP. We're gonna see exactly what happened. Now I said they lost hundreds of crores. Now let's see how that can happen, right? All right guys, so we're on trading view currently. And this is not any index chart, this is the VIX chart. Now, not the India VIX chart, because the hedge fund that we're talking about is in the US. And the US, this is their VIX chart. So I've gone back in time to 5th of February, 2018. This is the day where everything went, went wrong for anybody that was trading short volatility or option selling strategies. So essentially what happened is, at the start of the day, the VIX was around 19 or 17, something like that, that's where it opened and it closed at about 37 or 38, which is more than a 100% jump, right? So if we look at the intraday volatility and how much it rose, it was about, as you can see from low to high, more than 130%, right? So obviously the premiums are gonna rise heavily in this situation when the volatility is rising, when the VIX is rising, your premiums will also progressively rise. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to Algotest strategy builder and we're gonna click on this button that says scenario analysis. So the current VIX right now is trading around 13, 14. Let's call it 15. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the IV by 15 points. And then we're gonna see what our payoff looks like. I'm just gonna change the IV, nothing else. First, let's change the IV. So I'm gonna click on this IV. So where it says IV offset, I'm gonna click on it and change it to 15. Why 15? Because if we're assuming the current VIX is at 15 and we want to have more than 100% rise, which is what happened in the US on the 5th of February, 2018, this is the way to do it, 15. And by the way, guys, IV offset means this is not the value of the VIX. This is the value by how much you're increasing, right? So if I want to decrease it, I'll just do minus 15, for example. There you go. Now the VIX is reduced, okay? So now back to what we were discussing. I'm changing the IV to plus 15. So my IV is increased from 15. We're adding another 15 and now the IV is roughly 30. Okay. So look at the payoff. The MTM now 
just by changing this IV is negative 82,000, which is 15% of my capital eroded just by the change in this IV. Now, why did this IV rise so sharply? It's actually because the market tanked about 1,000 plus points. As a result, the vol shot up. So we've added the IV change that happened on that day. We're just simulating it in the Indian markets. Of course, you can't exactly simulate their data because we're trying to recreate it in our Indian markets. The index also fell around 6%. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this from the spot where it says spot. We're going to slide it down to minus six. Now have a look at the MTM. Of course, this green and red payoff is on the day of expiry, whereas this blue curve is your current day payoff, right? So you can see that the MTM is now negative 1.3 lakhs, which is about 24% of our capital. So this is kind of what happened with their trades. The IV just shot up and the spot moved down so severely that the premiums rose to a very high extent and as a result they were, they lost like 80% of their capital and now one will say that okay there's only 25% loss being shown here there's a few more things you need to know right in the US they do have leverage especially hedge funds they probably use a lot of leverage but we don't use leverage at all right in India there's no there is no leverage now that's one thing to consider now another thing to consider is this isn't the only strategy that they traded that resulted in 80% loss they traded this strategy and certain other strategies similar to this, right? Essentially, they were selling options and it resulted in a huge 80% loss of their capital. The hedge fund then eventually ended up shutting down and they liquidated their remaining assets and then gave it back to their investors. The conclusion that we're drawing from all this exercise is don't be fooled just by 92 or 93% probability of profit because that isn't the whole picture. Things can go wrong and when things have to go wrong, as Murphy's Law suggests, anything and everything will go wrong. Okay, so now we've discussed how this hedge fund lost so much money trading a 90% plus probability of profit strategy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a different version of the strategy and simulate it across two different months in the Indian markets in the Nifty index. The first month we're going to simulate is the previous month, which is August of 2024. And the other month in which we're going to simulate the strategy is in March of 2020 when the pandemic happened. All right, so to do that, we're going to go to the simulator in the nav bar. And what we're going to do is head to the option chain. I'm going to change the date to Thursday, 1st August, and just add five minutes. There we go. And like I said, we're going to do this in the monthly expiry, right? So 29th August is the expiry in the Nifty index, and I'm on 1st August. What I'm going to do is we're going to purchase Again, the 30 Delta, all right, we're going to purchase the 30 Delta and we're going to sell the 28 or 29 Delta, basically just one more strike above. So over here, we're going to sell two lots of the strike just above the 30 Delta. And in the call side, two, uh, one strike below the 30 Delta, we're going to sell two legs, two lots. This is what your payoff looks like. This strategy is referred to as the Batman strategy because of the payoff and what it looks like. But before we go any further, just like in all of our videos, we'd like to reiterate that this is not by any means a strategy recommendation. This is only demonstrating what can happen when you trade a strategy in certain conditions in the market. We're just simulating how a version of this Batman strategy would look like when traded in the Indian markets. Please. Make sure you do your own due diligence before you trade any strategy with your hard-earned money in the markets. Now back to the video. So this is what the payoff is going to look like. Now we're going to simulate one day ahead until the end of this month to see what the MDM looks like. So to do that, I can just click on plus one day over here and I can just keep clicking that. Or an easier way to do this is just go to autoplay, click on one day and you can hit play. But just three days in, you can see the MTM is around minus 6,000, which is about almost a 6% loss if you calculate it on the margin required. Now we're going to click on autoplay. So progressively, you can see that the MTM is reducing. The market is moving, but it's moving back into... So the market is mean reverting essentially now. So the strategy spent some days in a negative MTM and approximately one week before expiry we are now at a positive mtm around 5000 or plus 5% almost you can say 
let's continue the autoplay all right so we're one day to expiry now and you can see the mtm is around 6700 pretty much again six percent let's click on plus one day and in this case in this month if you held it at expiry your mtm would be around 6768 you can see if you zoom into the strategy at these points you have your maximum profit where you can see the peaks and thereafter you have the mtm progressively falling until it reaches the break even points on either end which is about 5% or so when the trade was initiated from the start from the mean position all right so this was a relatively good month this is basically almost a 7% return on your capital which is pretty insane i would say now let's simulate this strategy in march of 2020 when the pandemic happened and of course the ivs rose and because the markets were tanking so i'm just going to clear all these trades go to the date selector click on 2024 click on 2020 march 2nd and confirm okay now i'm in march of 2020 once again we're going to take the exact same trade 26th March is the expiry I'll trade. I'm just going to add five minutes over here and take the 30 delta. Okay, we'll take 32 delta over here. Purchase that and same thing over here. And now like we did earlier, we're just going to sell the next strike. So we're going to sell two lots of the next strike on the call side and two lots of the next leg on the put side. This is what your POP looks like. Now, let's click on plus one day again and keep increasing that what we'll do once again is hit autoplay so just two days and you can see an mtm of around minus 1000 which is about a one percent loss so let's see what happens and then we'll discuss so i'm going to click on autoplay okay so i'm just going to go back one day 13th March, which is pretty much 10 days from the day we took this trade, you can see that the MTM is minus 53,000, which is essentially 50% of your capital eroded, right? So what's happened here? Let's have a look at the charts. So I'm going to change this from the US VIX to India VIX. All right. And I'm going to go to the date of March. Let's take it from uh, 2nd March. 2020 so you can see this is pretty much where we initiated our trade second third march right the iv value let me just draw a line over here it's roughly here and the date in the simulator at the moment is 13th of march 2020 13th of march is somewhere roughly here so 13th of march i'm just going to draw another line showing the high so this is where we started our trade again this is the india vix index we're looking at the vix not at the spot so the vix over here was at a value of around 26 and the high on this day uh, that we're on 13th march in the simulator is 59 call it 60. so this rise you can see this is a rise of about the volatility expanded more than 122 percent and that's why you can see such a sharp rise in the premium values because the market is accounting for more risk. There is more fear in the market. And therefore, you can see a huge MTM loss translated into this. Now, anybody with half a brain will probably exit the strategy well before it reaches this MTM. But I'm going to click on plus one day and continue doing this until we reach a point of, well, losing. Yeah, there you go. This is the point at which you lose 80% of your capital. And this is on March of 19th. So that is basically here. So let's move this up here. Yeah, there it is. So this is now a rise. So we entered the trade roughly around here. And I'm taking the high. I'm not even taking the low because we probably entered somewhere on the low or somewhere over here. But let's just consider. Okay, actually, let's, let's take the low to high to make it even more impactful. So we've taken the low. And we've taken the high of the present day. So this is the point at which we initiated our trade, 2nd March 2020. And this is the point where we're at in the simulator, which is the 19th of March 2020. So this is a rise of what? 263%. So the volatility rose by 263%. And that translates to about an 80,000 loss 
or 80% of your capital gone if you're assuming margin. Now, of course, you'll get margin calls and all of these things will happen as an RMS system, you know, takes, does its job with the brokers. But essentially, the point we're trying to make here is there are good times and there are bad times with any trading strategy. Simply following a strategy because it has a high POP can be a very risky move. And it's not just about probability of profit. There's many other factors. If a strategy has a really low drawdown, it could be curve fit. Or maybe it could be that that strategy is not taking into account charges, taxes, slippage, all of these things. So if you have a strategy that you want to trade, make sure that you simulate it on the simulator or you back test it in the back test and then you trade it forward test and then you trade live after you've successfully done your analysis and you're sure that, okay, this looks like a decent strategy to trade. Now, whether you should trade the Batman or not is totally up to you. You have to do your own due diligence because this is not a trading strategy recommendation. If you did like this video though, please let us know in the comments below and like this video because if you did like it, we'll make a part two showing how you can actually make adjustments to this strategy and try to somewhat salvage your maximum loss when things like this happen. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel. If you like our content, leave a like, leave a comment below. We're coming up with a lot of videos for you guys and we appreciate all the love you've been giving us. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.